difficult to say. But, yeah. You know, he, he's a good, good player, and he proved that at least he can play in the league. You know, that that was an unknown yeah. until this year. It really was, and uh, so I think he, you know, he did himself a, a favor, and uh, you know, we think he's a good player. Tom, what have your impressions been of the roster now that you've got to dig into a little deeper into it? Is there more depth maybe than you thought, or what's your overall assessment? Yeah, I think that's right. You know, I think it's a, uh, um, uh, you know, I think we have some, we have some talented players. We really do. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously, I think with the, we have probably more talent than I, than I originally thought from an outsider looking in. Uh, plus, then, you know, throwing the draft picks and, you know, we, we probably have some money to, you know, do something free agency if, if there's somebody available. And so I think, you know, we got a chance to at least, you know, be a better football team. What do you, you've had now a month or so to, uh, to uh, check out the quarterbacks. What, what, uh, what have you concluded? Well, you know, I think they're, uh, you know, it's, it's probably a little too early to, to say on, on both of them. You know, we have to, that's a position, obviously, you know, and Mike talked about it in, in, uh, at length, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult decision, and, and we have to get together, and we have not made any decisions on anybody. So, you know, I think that, you know, that's going to be something that's going to happen down the road. Well, what, what, what do you... I assume that you watched. I can't it. tell you that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going with it. I can't answer that. No, I, we we do. I think they're both they, they both have talent. There's no there's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, I think they both had they both played well at times, and um, it's just you know we'll have to wait and see what happens. How about um, Dante? You do have a, a decision looming with him coming up here pretty soon. Have you made any decisions? We on really that? haven't. You know, and, and that's, yeah, that's something probably you know Randy's going to be involved in as well, and. Um, uh, you know, the leagues, obviously, they've come out and they've, uh, they're probably going to be reinstated here pretty soon, but, you know, we'll, we'll have to discuss that as an organization. Since you were at the Senior Bowl, what are your thoughts on Tebow? There's been a lot of discussion whether or not he's going to be a pro quarterback, where he's yeah. going to be taken, et cetera. Well, I think he's going to be a quarterback, first of all. Now, where he goes and how well he plays, that's that's the question. And, uh, you know, obviously, everything besides the actual playing the position, he's got it all. I mean, he's everything you want, the greatest kid in the world. And, you know, people can knock him all they want. He won a ton of games. And, uh, and they didn't just run the ball. I mean, he threw the ball and he threw the ball well. So, you know, it's tough to knock a kid like that. But to say he's going to be, you know, a franchise quarterback, that's, you know, that's going to be a big decision for whoever takes him. Can those other intangibles, Tom, make up for the deficiencies? I, in I think he can make up for a lot of it. I really do. You know, and yeah, you've, you've seen it, you know, throughout the league, guys with maybe not the strongest arm or, or a different delivery, you know, uh, they, they've won games. So, you know, it's it's really hard to overlook the other stuff. And, uh, you know, people, I think somebody's a good player and you know, how high he goes and what he does, you know, on the long term, that's you know, who knows. Can he? Can some of those mechanical flaws be corrected with a good? I think coaching? they can. I really do. You know, and I'm sure he's, you know, he's, his agent. They're going to get with a you know, ex quarterback coach or somebody like that. I'm sure they probably already have. I don't know that for sure, but and you know. I, the one thing is he can't completely change his, his whole thing. I mean, that's, that's not. I mean, that's right. tough to do. But I think he can. You know, you know, he does have a little longer delivery. But I think he can shorten that up a little bit. But he's not going to change a whole lot of what he does because obviously, like I said, he won a lot of games doing what he's doing now. I mean, Ken Dorsey won a lot of games. And, uh, we saw. Him. Yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, and you know, I, I don't want to slight you know Dorsey, but right. yeah, this this guy's a different guy than that, I think. In my opinion. And just about uh, the business about him always being in a shotgun. Well, going you know, and that's a, be, it's, you know, it's not a, um, uh, you wouldn't say I'm not going to draft the kid because he's never been under center. Yeah. You know, and he, he worked under center at the senior bowl. So, right. you know, you're going to have to get with him and you're going to have to see him. I'm sure it is workout. He's going he's gonna to be under center and do personal workouts. Whoever has those are going to do the same thing. So, you know, it's something he's going to have to learn to do. But, you know, I know I was in Philly. We drafted a kid, uh, Kevin Cobb, who was not not as much as that. I mean, he was under center right you know, 25% of the time. So you got to see it more. But, you know, that's not a, it's an issue, but it's not a major, major issue. I'm sure you've seen play before. Did you see the backlash that was coming at the senior bowl? Did you know he was going to get oh, the I scrutiny? Think, I think them? he knew it. Yeah. You know, and I tell you what, that he went up way up in my book. Because originally, you know, there was talk that he wasn't going to go go. Hey, I, I think it's great that he went. Anyway. He, you know, he, he's a competitor. He wants to show what he can do. And uh, I thought it was great that he showed up. I really did. Because he knew what was going to happen. I mean, everybody knew what He's a kid that would be better off if he goes somewhere that has a veteran quarterback right now. No, 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 no. So that way he can kind of just practice and wait in the games. You know, well, that's an interesting question because you could say that about anybody. I mean, because, you know, that's the NFL question. We draft a kid in the first round, do you play him or do you sit him? And that's always been, there's, there's been both ways. And they both have worked out. So, you know, I think that's for any quarterback. Are you done with your staff? Um... That's a good question. I can't. I don't. Can't remember what. Uh, it, um, I mean, um, pretty much, yeah. And what about John Sandusky? I mean, he's. Yeah, what, he's what made you 
want him? And... Well, you know, John was with me the whole time, and you know, I brought him in when I got hired in Philadelphia. And, uh, you know, he's obviously he played football at Penn State. His dad was a defense coordinator for him. He knows football. He really does. And he's he's a great evaluator. Uh, he's, a, he's a great addition to us. He really is. Did you always figure you would? Oh, you know, when yeah, you thought about I, yeah, I, yeah, no, there's no question. I would never doubt my mind. I try to get him. I, and then Philadelphia let him out, which, you know, I appreciate it. So just talk about that. You have two guys, Sandusky, two guys from the Eagles and, and two guys from the Seahawks. I mean, it must make – you guys could probably finish each other's sentences, too. Well, oh, and I tell you what, that's that's a big part of this business. I mean, we are together so much. I mean, we spend an awful lot of time together. I mean, we're, you know, obviously get there early and we stay late, and it's a full-time deal. So you better be around people. You know, not only they they have to be good at what they do, mm-hmm. but you better be able to get along with them and, and, and have that rapport. And I'm not saying that you can't build that, because right, you right. can. And, uh, but it, it helps. It helps things out a lot. How many knew the Josh Kirby situation? Um, you know, I, I really don't want to, you know, get into that. You know, it's a, uh, you know, as the Mike stated, you know, we we want him, uh, we want to get something done with him, and I think he does. And uh, you know, it, it's it's been good. What's next for you guys, Combine? Uh, yep, thing? yep. We'll finish up these free agents, guys, probably before we leave, and then, uh, uh, yeah, then we'll all go to Combine. How much more work do you have to do on the draft? Because a lot of guys say the draft board is pretty much set before they even go to the game. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of work to do. You know, and it's obviously a big, a big different story. You know, because obviously when Philadelphia, we probably, I probably would have said that we're, and it's never set, but right. it was probably a lot more set than it is here. Yeah. And you know, it's a, it's just a little different situation. You know, yeah. Coming with this late in the deal, but you no, know, we're, I mean, we're in good shape. But it's just we have some work to do. And actually, we're going to meet. Um, I'm bringing all the college guys in to next week from Thursday, I think. So we'll be here for probably 10 days before the combine, and we'll you know, we'll set it then. But it'll still be a rough, rough set. Mm-hmm. Slide Beautiful.